What's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Oh, they're getting it in. Somebody's getting it for you. What's going on, people? <laughs> Woo, what's going to be? It's the day of a day of another day we call Tuesday. Anyway, that being said, what's going to be, people? Um, it is officially hot. It's officially, um, well, it's not really that hot today because like I guess I have the air conditioner on because you know me, I love to have my air on. Anyway, that being said, um, as you see, I oopla once again. Um, I, I think it's funny because like I always, like, I'm a Gemini, so I always change my hair. I want to test it out for a second because I want to see how long do I keep my hair in. Normally, I would, I would say I keep my hair in a week, but I got a feeling I keep my hair in for four days. <laughs> I think I could wash my hair twice a week and when I wash my hair you already know I take all the weave out and I do it all over again which means it's a process within itself and you know I watch a lot of girls and stuff like that you know they take their hair out and you know they get so comfortable because they feel the lovely and they feel beautiful and stuff and they start taking the hair and they start taking it back to different levels and stuff like which I've done as well you know I'm experimenting with my hair and stuff like that as far as you know wig versus weave now when you wear a wig, it's like a whole new, it's a whole unit, so you can just put it on your head and you can just, you know, adjust it. But once you put the weave in, you know, if you don't fix it the right way, it's officially on there. <laughs> now I have watched girls who do weaves and stuff like that, you know, and some girls have gotten to the point where they feel themselves, you know, they're more comfortable, they want to use their own hair and stuff like that. You know, I have no problem with, you know, being natural, you know, be true to you and stuff like that, but, you know, a lot of times when you are a person that has kind of like damaged here, you know, and you feel as though, you know, you want to look lovely and stuff like that. Sometimes a wig is, is, is not a bad thing because um, sometimes your hairline and, and by you doing so much tension and stuff like that, your, um, your edges and stuff has been pulled down so bad. You know, and I can see that happening as far as with me. The only difference with me is that um, I wash my hair with shampoo and like I really suds it up and hot water underneath my hair which means it's not it's going to have to loosen up either way because you know I got so much um detangler um shampoo in my hair I use criminature shampoo like I had said before here with the inside so um I have noticed a lot of girls who want to sit back and want to use their real hair stuff like that and I hate to say this with a lot of girls you know you're looking a little too natural <laughs> But then again, who am I? You know, hey, do you? If that's what you want to do, I'm all for it because I'm, I'm going to be honest. I wish I was, I wish I had the kind of hair that was like this big instead of this basketball girl trying to hit. You know, because I would love to wear a really short hairstyle, you know, so I could be like, you know, um, just one of them, you know, those girls, you know, like um, Amber Rose. Oh, I would love to have that size head, but I guess there's Amber Rose and then there's the glow trotters. <laughs> Anyway, that being said, you know, I was thinking in reference to a lot of times when we put stuff out there, you know, into the universe and stuff like that, we, we, we get this certain back of energy back. You know, and I understand we're all in this struggle and stuff like that, and a lot of girls want to be with a man, and I'm, and I'm talking in reference to, um, you know, my, my sisters. Um, you want to be with a man, and you have to understand, and this is to the transgender women, you are dealing with a straight man. You're, you're, I believe a lot of times you girls transfer that gay man over to that straight man because a man is a man and you're thinking well he's gay he's, he look harder than the straight man so if he does this with me then the straight man will do a lot more with me because he understands me and understand he is a straight man he's not gay he's not, he, he may be bisexual and a lot of them in their mind they don't even think of themselves as bisexual and the thing about it is that you have to understand is that if you find that man who's really going all the way out, like 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 he's he's doing like the ten. When I say the ten, like he's he's got your back. He's going here. He's going there. Y'all got some movies. Y'all going to dinner. You got a man that really wants to be with you. And I'm not saying it's it's impossible for it to happen because it has happened lots of times. I've watched girls who've done it. But a lot of times I've learned that a lot of transsexual women take the gay man's mentality in her mind and transfer it over to the straight man. Now if you have to understand, the straight man is in his mind. He may do a lot of things with you like a gay man would do, but reality in his mind, he's still straight. And the thing about it is that I learned with a lot of you girls is that you want him to just come on out and be out there with you and do all these wonderful things. And that's not a bad thing. That's actually what he's supposed to do. But a lot of times these men, are, these men we date are not really the kind of men that's ready for that type of lifestyle. 
and basically what they do is they kind of keep you inside or you want to go out, oh, I, I bought a DVD, you want to get something, or, or I got the food, you know, um, he, he'll do anything, oh, I, you want to go shopping, oh, let me know when you get back. He does everything to avoid, you know, to being seen with you in public. So make sure you decide that you want to be with this man and this man is always up inside of your house that he is the man for you. Do not live your life on a fantasy that you think that he is the one for you. When you have not gave him a test to see who goes and with you. You have to test these men before you give all this loyalty and crying and screaming and saying why. I can't understand why he won't, why he's doing this to me. When he showed you from the beginning. He's not the man for you. And I think a lot of times when it comes to the girls, y'all don't want to accept that. You just don't. And I'm not talking about the hookers. <laughs> you know, them, you got to bring me something, bitches. <laughs> I'm talking to the girls who want to be a good girl. And, you know, she wants to find a man and be happy. You know, because everybody's not like Raven. Because I'm a jaded, bitter bitch. And I just don't see it. I just don't see it. And when I do meet a man and stuff like that, um, I always feel like he's up to something. You know, why are you here? You're up for money? You trying to find something? You trying to find a way I left my last track of hair because you got you got a girl on the side that you told you was gonna bring back three bags of hair, bitch, and you trying to figure out since I'm a bitch who wear a lot of weave that you're gonna take these bundles home with you. <laughs> or did you and your girl point me out and shit and you over here trying to get something, you know, to take back home now? You know, I, I know I have issues. But my thing is this I always think he's up to something. I always go. Why are you really here? You know, why are you here? And then once I get past that, I'm thinking, oh my God, he really likes me. Oh my God. But then you got, you know, you got to go get an AIDS test and stuff like that because you want to make sure his shit is right. But then if you go get an AIDS test and stuff like that to make sure his shit is right, will he cheat on you and give it to you anyway? Oh, it's a mess. I'm, I'm just not there yet. And I meet a lot of guys who be like, you know, Raven, if we be together, I'm not, I don't want to use protection. I said, well, I don't think you got the right girl. Sorry. <laughs> I can't, I, and I'm not saying nothing against someone who's, you know, if that's what you went to, maybe I don't want to use protection, that's my, I have no problem with that, that's you. I do have a problem with a man breaking up with me after we had unsafe sex and he left me with something extra that can never leave me. So, I'm afraid, I'm afraid of a lot of things, but I'm definitely afraid of a man, I'm a punk, I'm a coward, I'm scared of it, and I'll be your best friend. I mean, I'll hang out with you and stuff like that, but, you know. But if we mess around, mm -hmm, you already know, I'm, I'm just not there. But there are girls that are there, and there are girls that are, a guy talk you out of your protection, and if that's the kind of girl you are, then more power to you. Anyway, that being said, I don't want to know how you feel about this. Do you feel as though the transsexual women are taking the straight men thinking that they are gay and transferring that gay lifestyle before they transition over to these straight men, and they are still feeling this thing of, I got a man, I got a man, but he still has not taken you anywhere to prove it to you that he's the man for you. Anyway, with that being said, I just want to put that because I know someone who's going through this right now, and yes, I'm talking to you. But anyway, I, maybe y'all can help her down in the comments because sometimes, sometimes it takes somebody else to listen, didn't hear it from the source itself. Anyway, with that being said, I want to say hello all new people, boom. I want to say old people, bam. I want to thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. I want you to do you. I want you to do you the best way that you can. And if nobody don't like it, then. Fuck them.